Now, I've been making debunking vids for some time. What you don't know is it was all done to show everyone that flat earthers like Oakley and others are paid NASA agents. Their only job is to spread disinformation and make us true flat earthers look like complete idiots. You think this is an April Fool's joke? It's not. For years, I have been posing as a glober, but behind the scenes been working with other true flat earthers to expose these NASA agents for what they are. You still think I'm playing an April Fool's joke? Well, ask yourself this. Why would a globetard be working with a flat earther behind the backs of these fake flat earthers as far back as 2018, all while being a member of Nathan Thompson's original Facebook group? Why would a glober get invited to flat earth field experiments as a technical consultant? Why would a flatty and a glober be discussing how to improve the experiment behind Nathan Thompson's back? Or the act these NASA agents on both sides are playing? Then me, a globetard, sharing funny memes with the enemy. Does that sound like a globetard to you? I think it's very clear. I'm one of the true flat earthers, and I've had enough of these NASA agents pretending to be flat earthers and scamming people. I'm tired of these fake debunkers and their cohorts staging debates and arguments in comments to make flat earthers look stupid. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you how celestial navigation is really done on this beautiful flat earth and who the real flat earth navigation expert really is. It starts with this. 90 minus sighted angle times pi times 19.089 equals nautical miles. Nautical miles divided by 60 gives co-angle. Sided plus co-angle gives you your baseline 90 to the tenths of a degree. And no globe dip bullshit made up basketball refraction or other globe tarred nonsense. Now I'm going to prove all you debunkers and supposed flat earth truthers that you're a bunch of lying NASA shills hiding the truth. Solar meridian is one of the commonly used methods for finding your location. So I picked a random town in Missouri called McCord Bend. Went to the NOAA solar calc and got the altitude of the sun without corrections for solar noon. Then went to time and date and got the solar subpoint for that solar noon. The next thing I did was put that uncorrected angle of elevation into the formula, then took the results and converted it to statute miles. I went over to Google Maps, flat map, not globe, and measured from McCord Bend to that three degrees, 58 minutes north you saw on time and date. I'm within 3.9 miles and never once used globe lies, or the globe agent disinformation you get from Oakley or Mitchell from Australia. Now, because I do my research, I did the same for the North Pole, 7.3 miles. I even used the real flat earth map and three star sightings from a NAV workbook and still within a few miles. Now, you think you'll be able to tell the NASA page shills by their comments? Yep, they'll say it doesn't work. They'll ask you where the model is, or they'll make some comment about me using pi. Well, think about this. In geometry, what's one of the key things when used with dealing with a circle? It's pi, dumb shits. So how are you going to get a circle of equal altitude and find its radius or circumference without pi? You're not. So what I just showed you is real celestial navigation that proves the flat Earth. The methodology that they and them have been hiding from you all this time. All without these NASA agents that are conning you out of your money. Yeah, I'm looking at you, Oakley, Quantum Eraser, Mitchell, Brian's Logic. All without those paid globe tarb shills and they're flattening their ball corrections that they put in the nautical Lyman Axe. If you think I'm full of crap, how many times have the globe tards been told to stop flattening their ball? How many times have those supposed flat earth experts made us real flat earth navigators look like morons by babbling about triangles like a drooling toddler? 
They got paid to hide this truth from you, took your money, and never once showed you a single proof of a single location fix. For being such flat earth experts, it's very suspicious they never showed you proof that you could see yourself. It's also shady that Quantum Eraser deleted every offer I made of a free sextant from their Discord and chat. You have to ask yourself, what are they really hiding from you? Think about it. It's been over a year. Why can't they show you working celestial navigation for Flat Earth? All while they pretend to run away from challenges or demands of proof. What's the real reason behind them running away from these challenges anyway? Is it to make flat earthers look stupid when we all know for a fact the earth is flat? All while these paid agents pretend there's not a testable methodology for celestial navigation on this flat earth? Stop giving these liars like Quantum Eraser, Oakley, Mitchell from Australia, Brian's Logic, your hard-earned money for fuck's sake. Stop buying into the staged fighting between FTFE and Globe agents he pretends to debate. Know that McToon's challenge is a con so that he and Oakley can profit off you and make us true flat earthers look stupid. Earth is flat, you liars. I just proved it, so get over it. I'm Loki Fish Mars, the real flat earth navigation expert.